Hello, hello, hello. OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with another weekly video. We're going to be doing a couple of things today. Uh, one is uh, building something. If you are new and you just found the channel, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new down in the comments. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. I sure do appreciate you. So a few months ago, I was watching a video um, from At Home with Jill. If you like cleaning videos, decluttering videos, uh, makeovers, definitely go check out her channel. Anyways, she got, I think maybe for Christmas or something like that, a trash cabinet, which I'd never heard of such a thing before. And so ever since I saw that video, I've been kind of like, hmm, is that something that I could put into my space to hide the trash can? So I unboxed everything and there's a ton of pieces here. Basically, I ordered myself a trash cabinet. Oh my gosh, look at all those pieces. <laughs> I did not ask my hubs for help, uh, but he saw me unboxing it and came and sat down to help me, which was super duper nice. If you caught my foyer makeover, the console table right over there, I put together all by myself. This is pretty similar to that, except for it's bigger and it has more pieces. But every piece is labeled. The instructions are very easy to follow. It's just very time consuming. I think it ended up taking us about two and a half hours to put this together. That's with two people. So I'm really glad he helped me because I don't know how long it would have taken just me to do it. Um, and we only made one little mistake too. So it wasn't that it was hard to follow or anything like that. It's just time consuming to put something like this together. And I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down in the description box. They have um, like a one cabinet and a two cabinet. I got the two cabinet. Uh, but anyways, I've been hemming and hawing about this. And the reason I decided to finally go ahead and pull the trigger and do this is because this. Uh, this is what my trash can is doing to my wall. And... Uh, so it has to be sanded down and repainted in that area now. And we had wallpaper in basically every room in our house. And it's been maybe just over a year, maybe 14, 15 months, we had the wallpaper removed from the kitchen. We didn't really notice it when there was wallpaper up because it didn't ruin the wallpaper or anything. If it got dirty, you just wiped it off. But it's ruining the wall and it's peeling the paint off. So I decided, let me go ahead and try this thing out. And I wanted to thank you not only for stopping by and spending some time with me today, but thanks for your patience. You know I post every Tuesday. It's very rare that I don't post on Tuesday. Uh, but I just got behind and I hadn't had the video finished yet. And so uh, I'm posting this one on Wednesday. Funny, when I did, if you caught my daughter's, when I went to my daughter's house and cleaned her bedroom, I was kind of in a time crunch to do that because they were away on vacation. And what ended up happening was I had a little bit of extra free time with my videos and I was able to kind of start pre-filming the next video. And that has been amazing. And so what happened was when I started filming this, uh, I also started filming something else. And then I ended up having two segments of two separate videos and I just got busy. I don't know what happened. Anyways, it's late by a day, but I'm here now. And thank you so much for joining me. I have a funny little segment coming up. Well, it's funny to me because both my husband and I are <laughs> have diminishing eyesight. Thing 
room, the fucker J is supposed to be like. Alpha D. J. Look at the package again. Turn it around. No. Uh, maybe it was stamped on backwards and half of it came off. J. Where? Backwards? That's backwards. What are you talking about? J goes like this. So you're saying, well, hello, hello, Thomas. You're saying the J is back. You don't make a J like that. Yeah. That's backwards. I don't hear them. Well, I have anything else. yeah, they just stamp it on backwards. That's fine. When you look how do you stamp a J backwards? They stamp it, it looks like it's stamped on the inside. And so that's why it looks, that's why I thought it was an I, and part of it's rubbed off. Well, stop doing that. He wears glasses with progressives in them. <laughs> and I've reached a point where if it's too small, I have to hold it pretty far away from my face to be able to see it. OMG. But I just had an eye exam and the doctor said I don't need glasses yet. Just some cheaters. Well, it's been about an hour and a half so far, even though I know this is way sped up. Uh, Hubs needed a break, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on to try to get this darn thing together. And, of course, Clark and Tom decided to come check out what I was doing and, you know, offer their assistance. I would love to hear what you are working on. Definitely feel free to share it down in the comment section if you want to tell me any projects you are working on in your house. If you need some decluttering motivation, I do have my decluttering playlist linked down in the description box. That should be helpful. We're going to do just a teeny little bit of decluttering today and some organizing as well after we get this uh, trash cabinet all put together. We are almost finished getting it together and we made it until like almost the very end <laughs> before we hit a little snag and the hubs did not use uh, PG language at that moment when that happened. You can see it's dark out now. Like I said, it took us like, I think about two hours and 40 minutes to put this together. And it's always the drawers. I swear, that's where I had trouble. Was it where I had trouble? I can't remember where I had trouble with the console table. But it was the dang drawer. Uh, this was the finishing touch and the, the drawer would not go in. It was the slides. It wasn't actually the drawer. It was the slides. And I was trying to tell him, I think one of the slides is wrong at this point. And he kept just staring at it. And I kept trying to tell him, I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. He just kept staring at it. So warning, a curse word is coming. I don't know. Try to put it in. Maybe am I putting it in wrong? Yeah, no, I mean, look at it. It's all fucked up. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at it. Low, high, curve that way, curve that way. It really was not a big deal. We had to remove, I don't even know if they're called slides. That's just what I'm calling them. We had to remove two of the slides and put them in a different way. It was like a two minute fix. <laughs> so we got it fixed and the drawers are in. And then the next challenge comes. Here's where I wanted to put it.
I thought you said you measured it. I did. Well, it doesn't fit good over here at all. The basement door won't open all the way. I mean, it doesn't block us from getting down into the basement or anything. It opens up almost all the way, but it just completely closes off the little hallway from the kitchen into the dining room. See? And I'm like, oh, it's too big for this space. I think when I measured it, I wasn't accounting for the quarter round. Uh, anyways... I was looking all around like, because I don't have any place else I could put that. So I'm moving Clark's uh, food dishes and we're going to just try it right over here and see what we think of it over here. I'm going to give it a few days. I think I like it over here. Pretty, pretty good. But I'm going to give it a couple of days. Okay, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys how this plant had come back to life. It was like on its deathbed. It was looking terrible. And uh, I moved it right here. And some of you said sometimes plants don't like to be moved. So watch it. So I've been watching it closely and she's doing good. And I was like, oh, look, I think that's a new leaf growing right there. And then I was like, maybe I should turn it like every so often. So a different space gets different sun. Oh my, look at, look at all these new leaves. Look at all these new baby leaves. I'm going to buy another plant. <laughs> All of a sudden, I have a green thumb. I don't know. Oh, it's beautiful, and I love it. So I thought I would share that with you. I'm seriously so dang proud of that plant. <laughs> it was looking so bad. It took me, like I said, I think like four weeks, I popped it up on the screen, to where it looked healthy again. I thought it was for sure going to die. Uh, and it's it's thriving, and I love it so, so much. Uh, this trash cabinet, I'm not going to lie, it was the biggest pain in the butt to find trash cans to fit inside here. Uh, I finally found one at Walmart. It was too big. I had to cut the side off of it. And while I was at Walmart, look at what I did. <laughs> I got two more live plants. These are not faux. They are live Uh, we're. I'm going to try my hand at them and see how they do. I also grabbed this little plant stand. I don't know if I'll use it in the kitchen or not, but I thought it was cute from uh, Walmart from the home and garden line. So I'm gonna try it out over here. I know there are a lot of plants that are toxic to animals. Tom would be the only one I'm worried about, not Clark since I'm gonna keep these raised up. Um, I don't know, Tom does not even bother with the plants. So anyways, uh, I'm I'm now going to style this trash cabinet and make it look a little fancier than a trash cabinet and I didn't buy anything new I just went down to my basement I had some decor I haven't used yet I'm setting it up here these were actually on my bookshelf they're Joanna Gaines cookbooks that my mom had bought me for my birthday and I thought well let me put them over here uh it probably took me about 30 minutes of just trying out different things up here and this is what I ended up uh, liking and there's Donna Jean. Woo! Hijacking my phone. So this is kind of like a evening view of what it looks like over here. I think it looks super cute. I said I didn't buy anything new. I bought the plant of course. Other than that I had everything else and this is what it looks like in the daylight. I think I want a picture on the wall but I haven't decided that yet so I'm gonna let it set and see what I think in a few days. Now we're going to move on to a cabinet in my kitchen that has become a hot mess. I haven't gone in here and done any organizing or cleaning in this cabinet uh, for over a year, and it is high time. This top area up here, we just use basically for chips, and it just needs to be kind of reorganized, and I got to go through everything in here and make sure nothing's expired. I'm the only one in my family that eats these. Hired in November of 2021, and they've already been opened, uh, so 
Yes, these are going in the trash. Look at all those cookies I didn't eat. Yes, that's a good thing. Tell me if you love Oreos. My girls love chocolate Oreos. Uh, I much prefer the golden Oreos, but I don't buy them very often because I'm the only one that eats them and you, I just let that almost that whole package go to waste. So anyways, let me know if you love the golden Oreos as well. That was the only thing in here that was expired. My family goes through chips like crazy. I know they are not the healthiest option, but my husband is a big chip eater and my girls love chips as well. Uh, so they don't stay very long in the cabinet. Uh, we cycle through them fairly quickly, but I do need to do this more often because I have a whole unopened uh, bag of pretzels. I usually, Viv likes pretzels for a snack or for part of her lunch usually. Uh, I had two opened bags of pretzels. I didn't realize I thought I was almost out, but because I couldn't see what was up here, I bought another bag. I mean, it'll get you, so it's fine. But that's why it's a good idea to get in and organize more than once every 14, 15 months. And if you've been with me for a while, you know I'm not a huge decanter. I definitely am not going to decant chips and put them into another package. Again, they just don't last very long. Ugh. The one thing I did decant in my house was Tom's cat food. And this is why I don't like decanting. Uh, so I buy him like, I don't know if it's a 15 or 20 pound bag of his dry cat food. And I had got my order from Chewy and it had a new bag of his dry cat food. And I see my husband come downstairs with the empty bag. And I said, what did you do with Tom's new bag of cat food? This was everything on that one shelf. OMG. Anyways, he said, well, I poured it into the bucket. Hi, there's Clark. Hi. And I said, so you're telling me that there was about half of his food left that had been open for a couple weeks now, and you poured new food on top of the old food? <laughs> and he goes, oh, I didn't think of that. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't like decanting. People will pour new stuff on top of old stuff that should be used up first. And I'm like, please don't do that again. I want to get Tom a new um, container anyways, because the one I'm using for Tom used to be Gus's and it's way too big. Uh, so anyways, I don't typically decant food. So this cabinet over here that I am organizing and decluttering has gone through some changes. It used to be the top was always the chips. And then the bottom was kind of like dog supplies and um, just some miscellaneous things. And then we lost Gus. And after, I don't know, quite a few months, I kind of cleaned it out. I got rid of all the dog things in there and kind of redid it and reorganized it and just kind of had in my mind that maybe I would never get another dog because uh, it was just devastating to lose Gus. Well, then Clark shows up. So now it has once again become kind of the dog storage cabinet and uh, some miscellaneous things. So we were just kind of shoving like Clark's treats and everything in here. I had no organization. And the other day uh, I was looking for, I knew I had bought him two collars when I got him and uh, I needed a new collar for him. And I couldn't find it in here because I couldn't see anything. Well, guess what? I found the dang collar <laughs> now that I cleaned it out and I'm organizing it. So anyways, so once again, it's going to be the dog supply cabinet and miscellaneous. I keep things in here like um, my saran wrap, my tin foil, any paper plates or plastic silverware or napkins, things like that. That's where we keep it. Ah, oh, there's Donna Jean again. So I'm not changing the purpose of this cabinet, but I just want to be able to see everything so I can find something when I need it and so I don't overbuy things that I already have. And I did clean off every uh, shelf as I went. I just didn't film that part of it. And honestly, the shelves weren't even that dirty. There was a couple of crumbs up in the chip cabinet and uh, on the very bottom of this one. But other than that, just needed a little wipe down. 
I have a humongous thing of saran wrap and a humongous thing of tin foil. When we moved into this house, my mom for Christmas had bought us these two huge packages. We've been here for almost 12 years now. I still have saran wrap. I have not had to buy new saran wrap. Two Christmases ago, I told her, um, Mom, what I would like for Christmas is tinfoil because I finally ran out of tinfoil after almost 10 years. So she bought me another big thing of tinfoil. I do have a couple of small packages of tinfoil back there and some cling wrap that I've gotten through couponing for free. If you didn't know, I am an extreme couponer. I have a couponing channel that is linked down in the description box. But other than that, I haven't bought tinfoil or saran wrap in 12 years. And it's wonderful. I tell you, I looked at this cabinet and I was getting so frustrated when I was looking for something that I couldn't find. Uh, and it just looks so daunting because it, it was just a mess. It took me like an hour. That was it to do this. We always make things out to be bigger projects than they really are. I mean, not always. But this was definitely not as big of a project as I initially thought when I opened it and saw what a mess it looked like. And I always keep a supply of plastic bags here because this is what we use uh, to clean out kitty litter every day. And it's what we use to clean up the backyard from Clark every day. And I just bought a new thing of vinegar. And look, at I got a big unopened thing of vinegar down here that I didn't even realize I had because I couldn't see it. Viv had an after-school activity, so I had picked up Donna. You just saw her a little bit ago, and I had like 40 minutes before I had to go pick her up. So I had put that box back down there. It was on a different shelf, and it's just got a bunch of mismatched holiday things for the girls um, that I was like, well, I don't, I don't need this space down here for anything, so I'm just going to put this box right back here. And if I need the space for something later on, I can move it to the basement or somewhere else. But right now it's not being used, so I'll just keep it down there. There's definitely some things that are not going to go back in this cabinet that don't belong in this cabinet. But I'm just finishing up before I leave to go get Viv. And now I am back. And as I was driving, I realized, oh, I do need that space. <laughs> so I'm going to pull that stuff out from the bottom of this cabinet. Did you hear Did you hear me tell Viv it's just not low fat? The grocery store, I usually buy 2% milk and uh, they kind of freak out whenever I buy something different. The grocery store was out of 2%. There's Viv, look what she's doing, getting into the chip drawer or the chip cabinet. They love chips after school. Uh, so anyways, I had to buy whole milk and she was like, why does this milk look different? Uh, I needed this bottom space for Clark's dog food. <laughs> so, anyways. I've had his dog food just kind of like laying out all willy-nilly because I didn't really have a space for it. And when I decided I was going to clean this cabinet out, I was like, you need to make room for his dog food so it's not sitting out. Then I totally forgot until I was driving. Then I was like, oh, yeah, the dog food. So these are the things that were in that cabinet that did not go back in that cabinet. Some candles, some hot cocoa for the girls, that big supply of, you know, sparklers and pumpkin carving things that I'm going to put in the basement. So I'm going to put all these things where they go. So thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. We're going to take a look real quick again at what this cabinet looked like before I spent maybe about an hour uh, just getting rid of things that didn't belong in here and cleaning it out and organizing it. And now I can see everything clearly that is in here. I hope this gives you some inspiration to maybe go tackle an area that's been bothering you and just kind of reorganize it and get it all cleaned out. So that is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm gonna see you again next week with a new video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you next week. Bye.